digital literacy tools during profession active learning journey began with one tweet when I was in the first grade. Although the tweet heard around the world project was a teachable moment for the students enrolled in my mom's college course, it was the moment I sh started learning about with the world and was my first digital citizenship lesson. The tweet heard around the world was the best geography lesson. The one tweet traveled around the world in 24 hours and I, and I looked up, recorded, and tallied every location. The tweet received 2,274 views and 264 comments. It traveled to all 50 states, Canada, Mexico, Costa Rica, Australia, Singapore, England, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Sweden, Belgium, Holland, South Africa, Finland, Denmark, Italy, France, Dubai, Russia, Indonesia, Germany, New Zealand, Vietnam, Korea, China, Japan, and Romania. The next day, I wanted to keep learning about the world, and I asked my mom if I could start my own blog. While I was learning in a, in a traditional classroom, I was blogging at home. My first blog post, Where in the World Are You?, received 110 comments. By the end of the first grade, we were assigned a project on rainforest animals. We were given a packet full of instructions, but I, I decided to blog about my project at home, I, and I asked my readers, to share what rainforest animal they would research and why. Just like my first blog post, my rainforest animal post received a lot of comments. For example, this comment from Digi Rainforest came from Peru. I looked up the, the, this location on the world map and researched the rainforest animals they suggested. I did this for every comment and then I pulled Put all the rainforest animals in the categories until I came up with my top 10, my top 5, and finally my top choice, the Bitterroom. Have you ever heard of the Bitterroom before? They are also known as the bear cat. They have the face of a cat and a body like a bear. They have shaggy black hair and white whiskers and a prehensile tail, which is like a chip hand. They smell like buttered popcorn and spend most of their time in the trees. If I didn't blog about this project, I would never have learned about the Bitterroom. I am a connected student in an unconnected classroom. What now? What does school ask us to learn in isolation? If you want to learn, if you want us to learn about the world, we have to learn with the world. Next week, classrooms around the world will connect with other classrooms around the world for the skype -a The skype -a is like one of the big virtual field trips to a lot of places and countries. On November 29th and November 30th, it will travel, students will travel over 3 million miles and will, and will travel to other classrooms, other states, and other countries. This is, a connect, this is connected learning. This is digital access and this type of learning that needs to happen in all classrooms. I don't get to learn like this at school. I wish I did. I shared my story, my wish digital access for all students everywhere last April at the TEDx Youth at Burlington High School in Massachusetts. I noticed that all the student speakers were in high school and all the other speakers were adults and made me wonder, why does everybody wait to talk to students until they are older? Because elementary students have a lot to say. Sharing my story inspired me to start my own company, Digital Kids. Digital Kids is a digital citizenship for kids by kids. Digital Kids is an opportunity to be a connected learner by sharing your voice with the world solving problems and creating solutions, empowering other kids, 
because our online actions can travel around the world to help other kids. This kids can be done in school and at home. To be a dipstick kid, you can take a pledge inspired by President Obama. I want us to ask ourselves every day, how are you using technology to make a real difference in people's lives? Dipstick kids ask how are you, you using technology every day to make a real difference for your life, for your community, our kids, and the world. You can also participate in Digicit mon monthly challenges. You can be, become a Digicit Kids classroom ambassador, and together we can amplify student voice by modeling how to use social media for social good. You can fight for connected learning opportunities in and out of the classroom for all students everywhere. Now what? We are taking the sick kids message on the road. We are we are coming to schools, libraries, and community organizations in your neighborhood. Our mobile classroom will help students, parents, teachers, and community experience the power of being connected. My final wish for you today, that parents, teachers, and policymakers say no more to unconnected learning, and that students join me and be that kind of kid both on and off 